Hello guys, I am Navni and I welcome you back to Target Study YouTube channel. Today I am here with the details of one such master's degree course that can help you enter the field of computer science even if you have missed the ever-in-demand BE computer science course at your graduation level. Yes guys, you are on the right track. I am talking about one of the most sought after master's degree course after MBA and that course is MCA expended as Masters in Computer Applications. Master in Computer Applications or MCA is a professional degree in computer science. In this video, I will try to answer most of your basic questions about MCA like what exactly MCA course is, what is the duration of MCA course, what are the eligibility conditions to join MCA course? What are the skills required to do MCA? What is the course curriculum of MCA course? How to join MCA course? What are the career prospects and job opportunities after completion of MCA courses? Which are the top recruiters of MCA degree holders and much more? Now let us start with a very basic question and that is what exactly the MCA course is? MCA is presently a three-year and proposed two years long professional postgraduate degree course for students who wanted to learn computer application development with the help of learning modern programming languages. The MCA course is a combination of both theoretical and practical knowledge. With an MCA degree, students can learn different tools meant to develop better and faster computer applications and software. An MCA professional is trained to use computer to solve a particular problem and accomplish a particular job. This course is designed to meet up the demands of qualified professionals in IT industry. Now you would like to know the eligibility conditions to join MCA course. As far as educational qualification is concerned, an aspiring candidate must have pursued BCA, BSc, BCom, BA or any other recognized degree with mathematics as one of the subjects at 10 plus 2 level or at graduation level. Some colleges may also have demanded minimum marks required like 50% to 60% in bachelors and 55 and above in class 12th. However, the eligibility criteria may differ from college to college. Along with fulfilling these eligibility conditions, you must have certain set of required skills to be a successful MCA and these are good communication and behavioral skills, positive attitude, strong technical skills, confidence in solving problems, awareness of latest technology trends, good programming skills and hands-on experience, good command over programming languages like C, C++, Java, etc knowledge of data structure and database. To be a good programmer, you must have good command in programming languages such as C, C++, Java, NET, ASP, NET, etc. If you have interest in web designing field, then you have to focus in languages like PHP, CSS, HTML, JavaScript, etc. In networking field, you have to be skilled in SQL, Linux, etc. Apart from studying subjects during the course, interested candidates can also get certification in CCNA that is Cisco Certified Network Associate, CCNP that is Cisco Certified Network Professional, CCIE that is Cisco Certified Internet Work Expert to get good position in organizations. Now you would like to know the syllabus of MCA course. So, presently the three-year full-time MCA course has been divided into six semesters with a duration of six months each. The first year of this course focuses on skill developments in computers, second year is aimed for providing a conceptual framework and third year offers the specializations in project work. In the first semester, you study subjects like Introduction to IT, Computer Organization and Architecture, Programming and Data Structure, Introduction to Management Functions, Mathematical Foundations, IT Lab and Programming Lab. Whereas, second semester consists of subjects like Info Systems Analysis, Design and Implementations, Operating Systems, Oral and Wireless Communications, Accounting and Management Control, Probability and Combinations, Business Program Lab and Unix and Window Lab. 
Fourth semester usually consists of subjects like database management systems, computer communication networks, object-oriented analysis and design, management support system, statistical computing, DBMS lab, and statistical computing lab. Fourth semester consists of network programming, software engineering, organizational behavior, elective two, network lab, and case tools lab. In semester 5th of MCA, you study subjects like AI and applications, software engineering 2, optimization techniques, AI and application lab, optimization techniques lab, along with industrial lectures, seminars and projects. Whereas semester 6 consists of project and seminar. The MCA course comprises of four contents like mathematics behind computer science, Concepts in core computers and systematic science, non-core computer courses and software development or design and consist of specializations like application software, hardware technology, systems management, systems development, internet, systems engineering, management information system that is MIS, software development, networking and troubleshooting. Now you would like to know how to get admission in MCA course, right? So admission in MCA courses is provided by two ways. One is through MCA entrance exam and another way is direct admission. Direct admission is offered by private colleges such as MIT University, LPU, Chandigarh University, etc. Students are just required to give a knowledge-based test on the day of their interview. But most of the government and other reputed institutions and universities provide admissions to their MCA courses on basis of university level entrance exams or state level entrance exams like APICET that is Andhra Pradesh Integrated Common Entrance Test, TANCET that is Tamil Nadu Common Entrance Test, UPSEE that is Uttar Pradesh State Entrance Examination, MAH MCA CET that is Maharashtra Masters of Computer Applications Common Entrance Test, NIM CET which is National Institute of Technology, Masters of Computer Applications Common Entrance Test, and KMAT that is Karnataka Management Aptitude Test to name a few of them. After taking the entrance test, qualified students are called for a counseling session. Counseling is conducted for seat allotment in various colleges affiliated to that university. Students are admitted after allotment of seats in counseling. So now you would like to know the career prospects after MCA course. So Masters of Computer Applications provide a complete professional grooming which is essential for a successful career in the IT industry. An MCA degree provides a variety of scopes to an individual. One can pursue various courses based on their specialization like AWS Architect, Artificial Intelligence, Business Analytics, Java and so on. An MCA graduate can work in any IT company, big or small, as a system developer and various other roles. They can become teachers and lecturers as per their educational qualification, both on the private basis and after passing some certain degrees like B.Ed. and UGC Net, they can go for permanent jobs. So next we'd be talking about job opportunities after MCA course. A candidate with a master's degree in computer applications along with the right amount of relevant work experience, skills and caliber can easily find great job opportunities at leading IT firms at various levels like as an app developer. They are individuals designing and building and maintaining mobile applications for Androids, iOS, Windows, Blackberry platforms, etc. As business analysts, they typically mentor and guide people aiming to start their own business. As database engineer, they are hired by computer system companies with an aim to design and monitor complex databases. They make sure that the data must be relevant and valid. MC degree holder can also get opportunity as ethical hacker. They are experts who access a network or computer system on behalf of its owner to uncover security weaknesses or strengths that a hacker who is working to disable the security systems could possibly exploit the security systems. 
as hardware engineer, they install and test systems to ensure proper functioning of internet. They are also involved in testing the production of hardware equipment. As manual tester, they are required to play the role of an end user who makes use of almost all the features of the application to ensure they are working accurately. If you have flair for writing along with MCA degree, you can work as technical writers. Being a technical writer, one is expected to write technical documents like product descriptions, design specifications, user manuals, and guides, etc. If problem solving is your forte, then as a troubleshooters, you can ensure the technology, both hardware and software, becomes easily available to those who need it. In case of an issue, they resolve the issues and make sure that projects are delivered on time. Social media handler is another position that you can have in big companies and handle their popularity and presence amongst people through the virtual world. Web designing and development is another in-demand field that you can join after your MCA degree. Here, you will be mainly responsible for designing or developing a website with a creative mind and well-developed software skills. They develop and design World Wide Web that is www applications, HTML, Photoshop, Flash, etc. Besides these positions, you can also work as Network Engineer, Project Manager, Quality Analyst, Software Programmer, Developer, Software Application Architect, Systems Analyst, and Software Consultant, etc. In a nutshell, we can say that there are a number of job opportunities for those who have done their MCA from some reputed institutes. Some of the top companies that you can think of joining after completing your MCA are Infosys, Microsoft, Wipro Systems, TCS, IBM, Mahindra, HCL Technologies, NTPC, Polaris, Oracle, Texas Instruments, Gale, BHEL, etc. So now you would want to ask the very important question and that is what is the salary after MCA course? As a fresher, you can expect to get anything between 3 lakhs per year to 4.5 lakh per year. However, with some on-job experience and expertise in the field, you can expect to get Rs 6 lakhs to Rs 12 lakhs per year. So guys, that is all about MCA course. I hope you like this video. If it is really so, please hit the like button. For getting regular notifications, please hit the bell icon. We will be back with videos on such informative topics. Thank you for watching.